And we have new details tonight at 9. It could soon cost more to dine out or get groceries in Fairfax County. The county board put its support behind a plan to look into adding a meals tax in the county. Our Northern Virginia reporter Max Marcilla live tonight in Chantilly. And Max, this would be a big change in Virginia's largest county, but certainly it's not uncommon. Well, Chris, essentially every county, every city, every town surrounding Fairfax County has a meals tax in place. The only place that doesn't is Loudoun County. Now, we don't exactly know what this tax could look like. It could be anywhere from one to six percent or, of course, not at all if supervisors vote it down. So while all of that is worked out tonight, we are going to break down and take a look at what items would be taxed, when it could come into play and why there is a sudden push push for it. The battle over taxing food in Fairfax County has been ongoing for quite a while, but finally there is a potential path forward for a new meals tax. I just want to make something crystal clear. Uh, this is a request for information. Tuesday, by a 9-1 to one vote, the county board told its staff to do some analysis and come back by September 17th with details of what a meals tax could look like. Here's what we do know. The items that would be taxed include meals at restaurants plus prepared items at grocery and convenience stores. As we look for additional tools to diversify our tax base, we could not leave any in the toolbox. Supervisor Dahlia Palchik joined two of her colleagues, including Chairman Jeff McKay, in formally proposing this tax analysis. They say they're doing it because the tax burden in the county has shifted and is putting a greater emphasis on real estate taxes, which the board recently voted to increase, but they say this shift is creating an affordability challenge on the residents. They say they had to do so to fully fund the budget, blaming the state's underfunding of schools. But Pat Herity, the board's lone Republican, opposed the request for data on the meals tax is without an increase in spending greater than inflation and population growth you don't have the need for revenue diversification so i think we need to look at spending now we mentioned the county supervisors requested that data by mid-september there's no vote yet no vote scheduled for the potential implementation of this meals tax that is still a ways away, but it is worth noting if you may remember this has happened before in 2016. It actually was up to Fairfax County voters about whether they would approve a meals tax. They declined to take this up voting no in that election. Worth noting this time around, though, because of a state law, it would never actually go to voters. It would only be up to the Board of Supervisors reporting live in Chantilly. Max Marcilla, DC News Now.